Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Let's start how you do an opening man. You gotta sound excited, energetic and loud, as if you just drank 10 full cups of coffee and overdosed with caffeine. I don't take coffee. Hey, let me give you an example. <clears throat> Hello, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Woo, God, I'm so excited. Hey, lady, I'm not last person. Shock you, please. Thank you. We have something new today, and you're gonna like it. But before, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, even if you have no idea what the video is all about. Hey, where's that espresso? I'm not getting any younger here. Oh, ass, come on. Bro, shut the hell up. You sound like a moron. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I, I guess you're right. That's not that's not our style. I, that's not our thing. Okay, let's just move on with the content then. So today we're going to test the game called Icarus and Riders of Icarus, the English version. Uh, now under pre-registration phase on Google Play Store. So if you are interested, you can just pre-register now. But before of that, we're gonna help you to take a sneak peek on how the game is actually look like by playing the Korean version for you. So let's move on to the content, okay? There will be five classes available for you guys to play. Meanwhile, in the Korean version, there are already six available classes. We have Gladiator, Ranger, Assassin, Wizard, and Artist. Artist is a unique class that we don't get to see in many MMOs. The game developer seems to be aiming at lowly character fans. I hate kids. Character customization doesn't look really promising because we can only change certain parts of the character. It is not really down to detail. We can only change hair model, skin color, eye color, and lips color, but that is all. This drone girl look like my ex girlfriend. I used to be her sugar daddy. I don't care, let's move on. We think this is one of the main selling points of the game. We see this in the opening screen and in the game trailer. Yes, we get to fly riding the dragon. I hope this feature is not just for transport, but also for aerial combat, maybe to fight bosses, dungeons, or of course, PvP. It will be cool if we can have cross suffer massive PvP on the air. Uh, Dave, it's PvP, not PPP. That's what I said, PPP. Let's just move on. From what we've seen so far, the game graphic looks very good. The game already used Unreal Engine, and for this test, we used maximum graphic settings. So let's have a look at the surrounding and see the details while we fly with our dragon. We have new bone. Shut up, Dave. Okay, the next part we will show you the gameplay of each classes. Enjoy the footage and we will keep our mouth shut. Coffee Dave? No, thank you.
オーパオーのところへ戻ろう Okay, uh, as a closure, spoiler alert, this game has quite heavy autoplay quests. So if you have played C4 and you like it, then you might want to try this game as well. But if you don't really like C4, then I don't really recommend this game for you. When you design a top play system for the game, you need to maintain the balance between auto, manual, and other game features. It is like keeping the balance of the testicles. You cannot have one testicle to pick from the other. <sighs> Thank you for sharing with us your wisdom, Dave. 
Those are very valuable. You mean my testicles? No, no, the wisdom.